This is breaking news now from today's TMJ4. News in Sheboygan where a body has been recovered during a search for two men swept into Lake Michigan Sunday by high waves. Julia Fellow is there live. Julia, what can you tell us? A sheriff's lieutenant just walked up to me and confirmed a body has been pulled from Lake Michigan waters in this past hour. One man still remains missing tonight. This afternoon, I spoke to the sheriff. He tells me at this point there's just no chance of survival out here. I also have learned both of these men yet to be named are students at St. Norbert's College. Rescue crews put their own lives at risk during the high winds and dangerous waves yesterday to find three missing men. We are using sonar and we are finding what would lead us to believe the potential of a body. The advanced sonar equipment just used this afternoon was brought up from Milwaukee to give divers a better picture on where to go. They're also searching by boat and by air. As the men's families can only look on by shore. It will go on until we are able to put closure uh, for the families. The sheriff tells us four college aged men from out of town decided to walk near the South Pier and talk to the fishermen. One stayed behind. The water's force suddenly caught the three walking back off guard. It's actually the wave, the water that goes over takes the feet out from underneath the individual. As we continue to wait, the sheriff hopes this serves as a strong reminder of how unpredictable our Great Lakes can be. It's hard to believe that the water is so calm right now can be so vicious just 24 hours earlier. Yesterday, one man was plucked from the water. He is out of the hospital doing great. They say that he's in good condition. Once again, a body has just been recovered. About an hour ago, one man still remains missing. And at this hour, a vigil is underway at a church in Door County. We hope to bring you more updates on Live at 10. Reporting live in Sheboygan, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.